Well, I'm here today to show you how to catch a pike using a surface lure. And believe me, surface lure fishing is probably the most exciting way of catching them. And Rapala and Storm make a whole variety of different surface lures. Lures with little propellers on them. There's, there's concave fronts which make a nice plopping noise. Um, loads of traditional poppers with concave fronts. And today I'm going to stick on the saltwater Storm Chug Bug. And that's a great one for popping on the surface at this time of year. And believe me, if there's any pike in the vicinity, they're going to come running for it. So I'm going to clip one on, cast out, and show you how it works. Right, get quietly into position. The water's very, very clear, so I'm trying to be as quiet and concealed as possible. Make the first cast into open water. Now I always let it settle for about five seconds just to draw any pike in the area towards it. Now just give it a little twitch with the rod tip. Just make it push a bit of water in front of it and make that lovely plooping noise. Sends out a vibration that will draw pike in. And then I'll stop it every now and again to let the pike catch up with it if they're a bit cautious. I'm using down strokes of the rod tip, but you can use up strokes and make the lure working all sorts of different ways. When you get it right, it makes a lovely, lovely sound setting up these vibrations that draw in predators. Now the rod I'm using is a 2.4 metre Beastmaster. It's a hard action rod and if you want to put some life into your lures you need a rod with quite a hard action with a fairly stiff tip. A sloppy tip wouldn't have the same effect This rod's got a casting weight of 20 to 50 grams, which probably suits most of the lures you would use for pike fishing on typical waters like this. I'm looking very closely through my Polaroid glasses to see whether anything's following. There's nothing on that occasion. Let the lure settle. You can use down strokes to get that lovely blooping action, blooping sound. Or you can, you can upstroke it and get it darting from side to side. It's up to you really to do what you think gives the most appropriate action for the time of year. Sometimes it needs to be quite delicate. Sometimes it needs to be quite violent to get a pike interested. Oh yes! Oh yes! That was quite, a, quite an amusing catch. I've, I've been trying to catch on the surface lure, which I did, and uh, it was spectacular the way that pike came up and took the lure. And in the fight, something that often happens, it started cartwheeling around and it transferred the hook to its back, but um, minor operation and I managed to get it out okay. The pike's unscathed. And uh, look at that mouth. At the moment they're taking Docklings up off the surface, a lot of small birds around. This is the time of year for surface lures. And uh, spring and early autumn, that's the time to be on the surface lures. Things like the saltwater chug bug, which I just caught on, but there's plenty of others in the Rappala and Storm range. 
a very exciting way of catching pike.